Hello everyone welcome back to Shahi Comics, and the first trailer for Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender adaptation has been released, bringing plenty of reveals and secrets along with it, and the first trailer has been released for Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender, offering plenty in the way of reveals and secrets about the live-action adaptation, since it was announced in 2018. The live-action Avatar The Last Airbender has been the subject of much debate. The original show had already been adapted into a lifeless remake in 2010 by M. Night Shyamalan, which led to trepidation about another attempt. Though the TV format of the planned Netflix project put some worries at ease, despite the exit of the original show's creators from the Netflix production, the first trailer for Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender has excited fans eagerly awaiting the remake. And as one of the many upcoming shows in Avatar The Last Airbender's universe, Netflix's live-action retelling has much to live up to, however, based on the first trailer, it seems the production is adequately capturing the world, lore, characters, and spirit that made the original Nickelodeon show so beloved. For those both familiar and unfamiliar with the original story, Netflix's The Last Airbender's exciting trailer is full to the brim of tantalizing reveals and secrets ahead of the show's sooner-than-expected release date. And Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender offers first looks at the show's major characters, and the immediate standout from The Last Airbender's first trailer is the reveal centering on the show's main characters, while most were highlighted in early promotional images before the release of Netflix's teaser trailer. Seeing the characters in action always adds another layer of excitement. The first main characters highlighted in the trailer for Netflix's The Last Airbender are Sokka and Katara, shown in their Water Tribe outfits finding Aang frozen in an iceberg, and after this, the series' main antagonist is highlighted. Daniel Day Kim is seen looking suitably angry as the rageful Fire Lord Oze before the trailer switches focus to Season 1 antagonists Prince Zuko, General Oro, and Princess Izula. All four Fire Nation characters look fantastic from their physical appearances to their costumes and action sequences. The same can be said for Aang, Katara, and Sokka as Netflix's The Last Airbender brings its characters to roaring life. And The Last Airbender's side characters are revealed in Netflix's trailer, and aside from the show's cast of main characters, the story of Netflix's The Last Airbender will feature several side characters, one of these is Suki a warrior from the island of Kiyoshi who strikes up a relationship with Sokka in the original show. Suki is shown in Netflix's The Last Airbender trailer donning the iconic white face makeup, green outfit, and metal fans of the Kiyoshi warriors. Three other side characters who get suitable reveals in Netflix's The Last Airbender trailer are Zhao the villainous commander of the Fire Nation Army Appa, and Momo, the two flying animal companions of Aang, Katara, and Sokka throughout their journey. And interestingly, another vital character from the original The Last Airbender show is found in the trailer for Netflix's adaptation, however, this character is only heard narrating the trailer rather than physically revealed, the character in question is Monk Jiatso, the air nomad who raised and trained Aang from birth, while it is not overly clear who is narrating the trailer for Netflix at first, the line always remember who you are, combined with the first reveal at Aang makes it clear that Jiatso is the narrator and will have a big role in Netflix's adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender. And aside from the reveal surrounding the show's cast of characters, the trailer for Netflix's The Last Airbender also includes several glimpses at iconic locations from the original show, from the opening shots of the air temples to the frozen wastelands of the South Pole as Aang is frozen in an iceberg. Netflix's The Last Airbender shows incredible fidelity to the physical and geographical aspects of the original show. Other reveals from the trailer include the Earth Kingdom nation of Amashu, the Fire Lord's Chamber, Kiyoshi Island, and Roku's Crescent Island. And while not shown at length in the first trailer for Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender, the quick glimpses of the bending moves are extremely exciting. The main reason for this comes from the disappointing bending mistakes made during 2010 The Last Hairbender. Despite the promise of marital arts-inspired, fluid choreography from the original show, 2010 adaptation provided dull, boring, slow action sequences that failed to capture the wonder of bending. With Netflix's The Last Hairbender, this mistake seems to have been rectified. The brief teases found in the trailer look dynamic and well shot with swift movements already proving a better showcase for the last hairbender's magical power base.
And while the trailer for Netflix's The Last Hairbender is visually impressive in many ways, the promise that the show will follow the story of the original animation will further put minds at ease. From the opening tease of Zin's Comet, a major plot point of the entire show, to the aforementioned recognizable locations, Netflix's Avatar, The Last Hairbender is showing a refreshing fidelity to the source material's story, elements such as the visit to Kiyoshi Island, Roku's Crescent Island, Ai kneeling in a burnt-down forest, and Zuko dueling his father are all present in Netflix's trailer for The Last Hairbender, teasing major moments from the original show's tale. And despite the evident fidelity to the source material, Netflix's Avatar, The Last Airbender also looks to be adding elements as all good adaptations should. One of the opening shots of the trailer showcases the Fire Nation facing off against a group of air nomads. For those familiar with the original show, this will likely be a depiction of the Fire Nation's genocide of the air nomads that results in Aang becoming the titular Last Airbender. This story point was only mentioned as a tragic part of the world's history in the original The Last Hairbender with Netflix's adaptation opting to include flashbacks to this event. And undoubtedly one of the strongest elements of Nickelodeon's The Last Hairbender was Jeremy Zuckerman's music, while Zuckerman originally intended to return for the Netflix adaptation, he chose not to sign on after the departure of Kanitsko and Di Martino in favor of working with the duo for projects as part of Avatar Studios. In his place, award-winning Japanese-American composer Takeshi Furukawa of The Last Guardian and Star Wars, The Clone Wars fame was hired as the series composer. Despite the switch from the original composer, Netflix's The Last Airbender trailer includes a now iconic theme of Nickelodeon's show, proving that the soundtrack will be equally faithful to the source material. And the nature of the original Last Airbender show meant that no adaptation would be possible without extensive CGI. From the bending powers of the universe to the otherworldly locations and creatures, a lot of VFX work would need to be done for any live-action remake of the show. As such, the CGI of 2010 The Last Airbender fell flat from the slow-bending sequences to the near-complete avoidance of showing creatures like Appa the Flying Bison and Momo the Flying Lemur, and the CGI work on display in Netflix's The Last Airbender trailer looks much improved over the other live-action adaptation of the original show. While not completely flawless as no CGI production ever is, the months in the run-up to the show's release will allow time for the VFX of Avatar, The Last Hairbender to be polished and fine-tuned. This was the case with Netflix's One Piece adaptation with both shows promisingly bringing the anime-inspired world of the source material to life. And the final reveal found in Netflix trailer for Avatar, The Last Hairbender is the show's release date, given that the show has been in production since 2018. Many have wondered when the release date will finally be announced, after the exciting teases at what is to come from Netflix's Avatar, The Last Hairbender, a release date of February 22, 2024, was announced, meaning the long wait for the highly anticipated remake is nearing its end. And we're in the end of the video now and another awesome video I will meet you again bye guys have a good day.